We have a lot left to build, guys. Welcome to HO Powertrain. Okay, to start the kickoff of this video today is going to be talking about how we got to finish up putting some foam down in this area. Why? Because that's what needs to be done and that's because of the supplies I have. I have to go to the store and get more plaster, more glue, more every freaking thing. Come with me and I'll show you guys what we, exactly what we gotta do. If you guys been paying attention, y'all see me do this foam spray here. I didn't wanna waste it, so I'll put it here and actually it came out very nice and it sturdy this outer fascia up really nice. Of course, I gotta carve it down and get it all fixed up, right? So. Up in here, we got to do the same with the one can I have. That can, that's some GE insulating foam, good stuff. To me, it's better than great stuff, okay? Of course, all these mountains are done with the great stuff and some GE and uh, other sorts of brands, okay? I've always done this since day one, and that's nothing new, but we're going to continue doing it down here. So instead of me taping this off with some tape, because I can't just spray it'll fall through, I'm gonna try to stuff it with the paper towel, stuff it, then spray on top. Just coming up with a simple technique and hopefully that helps someone if this works. Fingers crossed, right? <laughs> uh, so before I gotta do that, I gotta sturdy this up because if I spray, it's gonna push it out like this. And I have to screw it back down to this also. So looks like all this is kind of stiff, but we're going to have to put a support in here. For that, I'm going to be using a one by one or one by one and a half and on the underside of this, cutting it about here, passing the screw on top and passing the screw through the side. So let's go get this cut about here. Can I remember that? <laughs> cut it here. So I cut this off and didn't realize I didn't press record. So there you go. I cut three. Dang it. Missed the record, right? <laughs> oh, Lord. Squeeze my butt in here. Okay. Put our little bit on. Get our little screws. And screw this in. Need to, again, rectify this piece here. Shouldn't be too bad. <laughs> Ah, that's nice and sturdy. We need one more here. That's good. That's a wrap. Very happy with that. Now here comes the fun part. Let's put some paper towels in here. I'm going to put you on a time lapse for that. Okay, so we got the paper towels in. You can see all I did was use it as a backing so the foam won't fall through. Again, this fascia is started up, so now it's time to spray. Fingers crossed, guys, fingers crossed. Hopefully this works out. And I don't see why it wouldn't, but uh, you never know. I'm gonna spray it against this board because I do not want it to go on that track. I should have masked it off, but I'm excited. I want to get this done, right? By all means, if you have the time, mask it off. <laughs> Ah, yep, that's why you mask it. Got some on the rails, guys. We'll just move it enough. 
we gotta clean that. Now you see why we mask. Some good shit, but it gets everywhere. So now I'm gonna wet some acetone and come back and clean those rails. It's getting up, we got some on the rails. I should have masked it. My fault. Let's let this dry. I'm going to come back with the finished result after this dries overnight and uh, I'll post this video. So let's wait for tomorrow. Well, actually, it's about two hours later. We started here and of course I put the paper towels under and as you can see, it's swole out really nice. It did get close to the track, but no fret. I can cut it here and carve it back down sand it and shape it to what I need so that's again that's one can and as you can see all down through there it came out very nice so there you go it filled up that nice ugly gap and now all I have to do is sculpt this on another video dang that came out awesome No major bowing of the fascia, just like I needed it to be. And this fascia is tied into this. It's not going anywhere. I mean, it's glued. As you know, foam is indestructible almost, and it glues really, really well against uh, any surface. So there you have it, guys. I hope this has helped you, especially someone that's trying to do scenery. Get you a bunch of the GE stuff. It expands better than great stuff and it's easier to work with and again that's a lot of completed foam work up there also so if you found this helpful again please like and subscribe and i'll catch you on the next one